Gemini. This week, it seems as if you're trying to bury yourself in work, trying to forget about a betrayal, a loss that you've recently experienced. Now, this person may try to reach out again this week, but what has changed for them? Let's take a look. Hello, everyone, and welcome in. Hope everyone is doing well. Positive healing vibes to all the subscribers, the viewers, and the world out there. Today we are looking into Gemini's weekly guidance message for January 24th through January 30th. And in this message, Gemini, we're first going to tap into the energy surrounding you this week. We'll see what the biggest challenges that you're going to face and what's to come if you stay in this energy. I'm going to clarify throughout the message. I'll pull a few cards at the end for advice guidance moving forward. If that's something you're interested in, you're more than welcome in joining us. So let's see here, Gemini, what we can see for your guys' upcoming energy from January 24th through January 30th. Please and thank you. What does Gemini need to see here, Spirit, for this upcoming energy? Please and thank you. Also, guys, if you like the vibe, how I interpret the cards, you're more than welcome to subscribe to the channel. Everyone's always welcome here, and it does help to set intentions for future messages. So let's see here, Gemini, the energy surrounding you the week, January 24th through 30th. The energy surrounding you this week, Gemini, is an energy that is very scattered. I feel like there is somebody here from your past that you are blocking out, that you're guarding your heart from, that has, in your mind, betrayed you. Probably the underlying cause in your mind of this confusion, of this scattered energy. Now, we're going to clarify all of this here in a moment, Gemini, but I feel here a decision is going to need to be made. That's the challenge. You're not making a decision. It's like you're back and forth. Should I stay? Should I go? I feel here, Gemini, and we're going to clarify and we're going to pull some cards at the end for advice. You're going to find that you're going to need to accept Something has ran its course, and it's time to focus forward on new things coming in. Gemini, what's to, what's to come if you stay in this energy of blocking this connection or blocking this person out? I do feel that you will stay in this scattered energy. Now, some of you are probably trying to bury yourself in work this week, okay? You're focused on money, focused on goals. There's maybe even gathering, gathering your funds, gathering your finances, maybe even doing some planning when it comes to um, some sort of business venture, okay? But there's still this underlying energy, Gemini, of confusion when it comes to relationships, Okay, let's start with clarifying the Seven of Cups, the Three of Swords, the Eight of Wands energy. Now, to me, this Eight of Wands is you're not talking to somebody because of a betrayal. This person may try to come back around this week, Gemini, and reach out. And I feel here that it's this is not going to be a good thing. If the person tries to come back around... Their energy hasn't changed. Their energy hasn't shifted. And I also feel with the hanged man, Gemini, that this may be something that you're waiting for. Okay? And I can honestly say here, Gemini, I feel like this person's energy hasn't changed. Nothing's changed about this person or how they're planning on interacting with you. Clarify the Knight of Wands, the strength with the full energy. Now, whatever it is that's coming back in, it's a new opportunity, this new beginning, okay? I feel like it's this person. 
you need to accept that this person's energy isn't going to change. It's almost like you can't teach old dogs new tricks. I feel if you continue to focus on this connection, focus on this person, you're going to stay in the scattered energy and it's not going to be for your best interest. I also feel here, Gemini, that it's going to be very unstable. It's almost as if you're going to always be competing for this person's time, attention, energy, no matter if it's another person or if it's a job, something along those lines. I do feel like you are being called to withdraw. Now, let's pull a few cards out here for your advice guidance moving forward in this energy. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support. Thank you for liking, subscribing, sharing the content. I'm not going to do an extended version to this weekly reading. This is just for YouTube. Thank you guys again for all the love and support. Gemini, your advice, guidance moving forward. We have temperance in reverse. We have five of cups. We have the nine of swords. I feel here, Gemini, that there is an energy of needing to release this. Okay. Needing to free yourself from this toxic connection, toxic energy. Okay. This has become very unstable. And I feel like you're starting to build up some resentment towards this person, which is never good for your manifestation, okay? When you're focused on the negative aspects of life, of a connection, of, of things that are playing out, it starts to attract more negative things into your life. You have to let this go, Gemini. You have to focus on the new, okay? Now... I do feel like you have blocked this person, but I also feel like maybe you check or are always um, waiting. There's some way that you check to see if this person has reached out to you, okay? You need to stop it. That's only going to hinder your moving forward from this. So Gemini, let's pull an oracle card out here. The new oracle cards that I'm going to be using are these Whisper of Healing Oracle Deck. Thank you guys again for all of the love and the support. We have Give Back. So this card talks about giving back, serving your community. The little message that comes along with this card is you need an interruption from what's going on in your life, Gemini. A wonderful way to divert your mind is to give back. Giving back does not have to be difficult. Just think of simple ways that you would like to help or contribute to your community. This can be anything from donating food or clothing to a shelter or a volunteering program. So Gemini, I feel here you're, this is basically telling you you need to find something to preoccupy your time, okay, and a way to divert your energy from focusing on this situation, this situationship, is by giving back. And right now you may be focused on work, focused on business, focused on career, but if you focus on giving back to the community, it's also going to lift your spirits as well, Gemini. I do feel like that is a very good, blessed message from Spirit. So thank you guys again for all of the love and support. I do feel like that's a good, solid message coming out for you guys. Thank you guys for liking, subscribing, sharing the content. You guys are all amazing. And I look forward to seeing your beautiful souls again soon. Namaste.